I'm old enough that I started racing in a period where the team had the responsibility of making the machine work and make the machine reliable. And that was a true challenge for me. That was the fun part of figuring out how to make this better, how to make it live longer, faster. In a way today, that's a little bit lost because the cars that we race today are homologated. You're not allowed to change much. They come from the car factory as sort of a plug and play, ready to race car. And the team's responsibility has changed to being really just an operator of this existing product that hopefully works as intended. Oftentimes they are really good. I mean, today reliability is almost not even considered anymore. We go to the 24 hours and they race sprint race pace for 24 hours. In 1985, nobody could do that. There were no cars that would last 12 hours at Daytona at sprint race pace. So the competition of motorsports is always a, a driving factor for me. My name's Kevin Doran. I own Doran Racing. We're in the business of building, designing, maintaining, and sometimes restoring race cars. My dad raced local short track oval cars when I was just four or five years old. And then right out of high school, went to work for an IndyCar team as an apprentice mechanic and progressed through the ranks very quickly to managing the Holbert Racing Lowenbrow 962 team in 1985 through 1988. We had such good success in sports car racing that that led me to later go to run the Momo Ferraris, the Momo Nissan, the list of Ferraris, and then later the list of Dallara that won Daytona. With my sports car team, I sort of built off of a really strong reputation on race strategy and really reliable race preparation for the Endurance Series cars. We would take care of customer cars, prep them for the race season, and then even provide the whole race team personnel support for the weekend. It all sort of came together in 1998 where we won Daytona Sebring and the Six Hours of Watkins Glen all the same year. Triple Crown, which has only been done twice. That was the first time. Early in 2000, we started to design and build our own cars. Forrest Barber and Jim Bell Motorsports took the first door and, and won the championship in 03, won the 24 hours in 04. Those are probably Doran Racing's crowning achievements. That's kind of led us to where we're at today. Here at Doran Racing, we can do almost everything on a race car in-house. And then we have the added capability of being able to fabricate or machine basically the whole car from ground up. So full CNC machining here, full capabilities for fabricating with all the sheet metal equipment, welding and uh, that sort of thing, paint booth. We do a lot of carbon work, mold making, part making. In the case of a restoration, we send out some engine machine work. Other than that, everything gets done in-house by our regular full-time personnel. Datsun 280Z came to Doran Racing via Nissan North America's motorsports director. The owner of the Z is good friends with Rick at Nissan Motorsports and Rick brought us both together and said here's a good car worthy of a pro level restoration. And to meet the class rules, it was a tub-based car, so you had a unibody 280 shell that had to be turned into a race car. The rulebook probably said stock, but you know, whatever you could get away with, they did. 
the transmission appears to be totally stock. We opened it up and it had all Hewlin dog gearbox internals in it. Those guys spent a lot of effort to make this a super fast shifting, durable gearbox in 1980. And then just looking at the engine, again, you had to run a stock casting on the head and the block. So you had a straight six, 2.7 liters, 6.8 to one compression ratio. So really low compression. To make the power, you had to use really big boost. So accordingly, it has a huge turbo. It was definitely a point and shoot kind of car. I mean, once you got the corner made and got into gas, it's got huge rear tires and it would leave black stripes for 100 yards. Newman loved driving it, I'm sure, just for the pure acceleration. Fun factor had to be really high. It had been restored about 20 years ago. We started looking closer at the car. We realized that there were a lot of areas that had been kind of glossed over or, or really skipped altogether. It was in pretty rough shape. We had decided early on we would do a complete body shell strip down to the bare metal and bring it back. It was painfully obvious of how much Bondo had been put in the car over the years. It would have been easier to retub it, really. But remade a few things. We'll call them million mile parts by the time we saw them. It's like these got to go just from a safety point of view. But everything was there, and a lot of it was very original. Since it was such a significant car, it was quite an extensive repair process. It was worth putting all the time and effort into doing a really nice restoration on it. Doran Racing, doing the restoration was particularly enjoyable because of the popularity of the car. Everybody loved Paul Newman, it seemed. Everybody knew he was a great actor, but everybody in motorsports knew he was a total gearhead and a total racer. So from that point of view, it was a really cool car to do because it's such a popular car. You know, we took it to Amelia Island and the people loved it, placed second in class at the show and just got a lot of views and a lot of people checking out the car and remembering you know, the old Trans Am days. For me in Doran Racing, a little bit of it, I guess, was uh, still being here and still having the doors open has been quite an achievement in motorsports. Having the longevity of living in the sport's been good and, and our success along the way. 24-hour uh, victories, you know, a lot of people will race their whole lives and never have any, and, and I'm sitting here with five. Designing and building your own car has to probably be the highlight of that whole thing. So the JE4 winning the championship and winning the 24 hours of Daytona as a Doran car, you can't really ask for anything more than that.